Hey guys, welcome back. So a uh, pretty quick little review about this uh, Dr. Meter branded uh, SPL, sound pressure level meter for getting uh, decibel readings. So um, basically, you know, to measure sound, measure how, how loud something is. And so this will go up from, uh, only from 30 decibels, which is uh, disappointing, but there aren't many other options that will go below that. Uh, I've seen options that will go below that, but it's not listed as going below 30 in the official specs. This one was the one I paid for, and uh, so I got this from Amazon, and it seems to be really accurate considering the price, you know, within about one decibel or two decibels uh, from what a, a professional meter would read. Uh, but this one had an issue that the, um, the on-off button only turned it on. There's, I, there's no way to turn this off unless you wait 15 minutes, which, you know, if you uh, over a few uses that might run your battery out, I don't know. You have to either wait 15 minutes for it to turn off or you have to just remove the battery, which is a pain in the butt. So uh, it won't turn off, kind of annoying. So I just sort of wrote a review about it and I said, you know, uh, I mean on Amazon, and I said, you know, well, it's kind of good enough. It seems to be accurate. I think I'll keep it even though it won't turn off. And so the company that makes this, they contacted me and they said, hey, we'd like to send you another one. We saw your review and we see you have an issue. We'd like to send you another one. So uh, so they did send me another one, but the, the replacement, it will turn on and off, but it it's completely inaccurate. It doesn't go to, uh, it doesn't give a zero reading at any point. Uh, this one will jump from zero. You know, if there's no noise or noise below uh, 30 dB, it will just say zero. And then when it starts to get a reading, it will go up to 30 and then upwards from that. Uh, 30 up to, I'm not sure how much, I think uh, 130 or something. So with this one, uh, I got the same measurement so that the vacuum cleaner is supposed to be 55 decibels uh, when it's turned down low on low power. And that's what this gave. So it gave me around 55 decibels at around a foot and a half away or two feet away or something like that. So a f what, what I can, as far as I can tell, a fairly accurate reading. With this one, it's completely off. It's about 10 decibels louder than this one. Uh, no, you know, from putting them right next to each other, uh, 10 decibels louder, and it will only start from uh, something like 38. So if I uh, if I shut up for a minute, so you see it's sort of just starting from 38, uh, whereas this one jumps to zero. So that's my uh, that's my little review about this. Is you know potentially good, but then I think it's only good if you've got something to measure it to to compare it to so that you know that, you get, that you're getting fairly accurate reading from the device that you buy. Because uh, for me, I've, I had something to compare it to, so I know that at least it's getting a good measurement. If you don't have anything to compare it to, then you have no idea whether you've got one that's good. I like that it comes with a little uh, thing like this. It'd be much nicer if it came with uh, this is a little windscreen, so that you know if you're trying to measure stuff outside, so the wind doesn't interfere with it too much. It would have been better if it was a fur one, like you'd get with professional audio recording devices, because uh, these things only stop a little bit of wind, not a huge amount. Um, so, so like the fake fur ones are, you know, more effective than that. So not a big issue. It's got a tripod stand, which I like. It uses a nine volt battery. It's got a tripod connection, which I find really useful with my uh, with my uh, light meter. That's really, really important. So for example, with this one, I put it on a Gorillapod or on a tiny little tripod, and then it's really easy for me to place it anywhere I want to get a reading, which this one does. And that's a standard connection, it's a quarter inch. So pretty much any tripod in the world will fit that. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, then you can support this channel by buying yours through the product links below. And of course, subscribe to the channel and you can subscribe to my other channels via the links below the video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.